chapter two of our epic journey to White Rock begins. You and how are you feeling? Oh, I love the wind and the choppy seas and the kelp. At least we don't have any sand right now. No, there's no sand. Once we get over the spit, then we'll be into the uh, into the turmoil. But we're just going to try to stay in the lee of the wind and take advantage of all the little breaks that the topography gives us. Wish us luck. We wish you luck. famous race rocks and now we're very curious about whether we can touch down and stretch our legs for a few minutes yeah there's one or two eh? Well, we're just uh, 50 meters away from the race rocks lighthouse looks like we've got probably the biggest collection of sea lions on the whole trip and they're just off the coast of Victoria and now we're gonna see if we can stretch our legs well, we're looking for a place to step on shore, but uh, we don't think it looks particularly friendly here. Would you agree? It's time for me to make a confession. Earlier in the day, I had mapped out our route using a new navigation program for the first time. The program told me that we had a relatively short day of only 27 kilometers. We'd already paddled 19K to the Race Rock Sea Lion Colony, and as we left, I rechecked the route and realized that I had missed counting one leg. We still had another 27 kilometers to get to our destination, and it was already 3.30, so we had no choice but to put our heads down and paddle. Fortunately, I had picked up a little morale booster in Victoria, and this helped us overcome those last kilometers. <laughs> Reached Discovery Island just before dark. The boat this time. You want me to hold the boat while you go sus? <laughs> Six kilometers was tough and we were beat but it was certainly worth it to make it to Discovery Island today. It's about seven o'clock, the sun is shining probably for the first time we've had sun on our tents and there's a good chance they'll actually go into the bag dry for once. And we are on the southwest point of Discovery Island. We've got Victoria in sight. You can hear the calls of thousands of birds. We had morning sun and evening sun and it's really nice. Thursday, one week into our Tofino to White Rock journey, and uh, Ewan's just pointed out that one week ago today, what were the paddling conditions like, Ewan? Oh, um, the horrific. <laughs> and it was his first day, and his first time in this boat, and his first time doing a sea kayaking trip, and we were just submarining. I think we have footage of it on the GoPro, but my God, here we are today off the Saanich coast. And uh, I was just saying, really, uh, some people will be saying, why didn't you bring your grandkids on this trip? This is pretty nice water. And we just say, we'll take it as the gift it is and run with it. Well, we're just off the uh, North Prevo Lighthouse and uh, Ewan has been tracking us and has an announcement to make. Ewan, what's going on, buddy? 300 kilometers as of now. Can we just stop now, find a spa, 
I could I could use a mani and a pedi and a full body. It was a good shower. Yeah. Shave. Yeah. All right. Well, let's see what the next uh, 300k offers. <laughs> <laughs> Just uh, headed to the local CBD to uh, replenish some of the necessities, and uh, anybody who knows me will know why I'm holding a cheesy bag in my hand. As for Ewan, tell us about the bottle of Coke, Ewan. Rocket fuel, man. <laughs> I need my sugar. <laughs> this, en this engine's fueled by pure sugar. In the end, in the end, he's he's a sweetie. <laughs> sugar and caffeine. Well, it's a little bit of deja vu. Uh, you and I are paddling into Winter Cove. And this is for you, Judy, and Warren, and Jennifer. Oh, another picture. That is the famous house that we spent some happy times at back in 2003. All right, this is the world famous boat passage. And uh, powering us through the world famous boat passage is none other than the man, the myth, the legend, Seal Slayer Mackenzie. Unexpected video delight. Nice work, Ewan. Paddling into the Tumbo Cabbage Channel. Looks like we got boats ahead of us, and hopefully, everybody's just here for a day trip and they're all leaving at 2 p.m.
sideways walking now. I think we're good, but we'll let you know if you hear us screaming and panic. Thanks, Corey. You bet. Seal Slayer and Kevin are within sight of the infamous Point Roberts. We've gone through hell and high water. We can almost smell the crab traps. How you feeling, Ewan? Awesome! Unbelievable. We've both been taking special numb bump breaks. Pretty soon we'll be just contouring along the coast as we make our way into the loving arms of Bonnie! We Bonnie Lassie! Good morning from the uh, causeway of the Tawasin Ferry. Uh, Ewan and I have crossed the channel and the tide's out a bit, so it's made it a little bit of a pain crossing uh, the Tawasin Bay, but we're here now. We've got a boat ramp uh, within sight and apparently Bonnie is not many minutes away. So I think this is, Ewan, does the journey, should the journey end here? It's a good place to end. It's got a good yeah. feel, yeah. Yeah, if Bonnie can just make her way out along that road, I think we should uh, put in and, and go see how it feels. Coffees and donuts for us. Oh my God, that would be incredible. Anyway, the Tofino, look at Tawas and Paddle, is coming to its end and what a great morning we've had. We blasted across there. What, was it about two and a half hours actually across? Yep. Holy mackerel. Not bad for a couple of pensioners. Talk to you. We're here, adventure done. Well, you and we just arrived back from 350 odd k of paddling, first big sea kayaking trip. Initial thoughts? Wow, my initial thoughts are I'm amazed at how stable this craft is. That was one thing. Amazed at how many kilometers a day we were doing, banging out like yep. up to I think 53 was the longest day. That was amazing. Yeah, it was great having your expertise there because there's no way I could have done that myself. Well, you're just the perfect partner, man. I'll do it again with you anytime. Thank you. Cheers.